In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your cell phone connected to your Xbox and literally play games anywhere in the world from your Xbox. Let's get started. So the very first thing you're going to do is come to your Xbox, come up here to settings. You're going to go down to device and connections and then you go to remote features and you want to make sure this is clicked. If it's not clicked, go ahead and click it. It's going to do a test on your console to make sure everything is up, up to code pretty much just make sure you have your controller connected and it's updated and all that good stuff once that's done you'll be good to go once this is done you can go ahead and hit next and you can close this out after you do that you want to come up here and go to xbox app preferences and then you want to make sure you can allow play to streaming now this is this is preference to you but i would i put it on the second one that way I know when I'm logged in, I can play and other people can't play under my account and under my Xbox and stuff. So allow connection from any device if you're having issues. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close this out and open a game if you want. We'll just open Jedi just to have something up and then you're gonna go to your phone. From your phone, you wanna go to the app store and download the Xbox app. You can do this from Android or iPhone. All right, once you get the Xbox app installed, what you wanna do is make sure you're on your Wi-Fi for this process and this step right here to make sure you can connect your Xbox to your phone. You don't have to keep it connected, but you do need to be on the Wi-Fi under the same network so the Xbox will be recognized and know it's you and all that good stuff. Once you do that and you're on your Wi-Fi, you wanna come up here to the top right where it shows a little console next to the bell icon. Click the bell icon for the videos, by the way. Click on that, you wanna hit get started. Now I'm gonna add a, um, I'm gonna add an existing console. Once you do that, you'll see it turning console on. Now it's showing to enable. If I come over here to the live, you can see it needs to enable. You can hit enable and then we're good to go from there. We need to do a test real quick to make sure everything's gonna mark up. Once while it's doing that, you can go ahead and give your console a name if you want. We'll leave it at Xbox. All right, once you do that, you'll get your thing like you did last time. You're good to go. And then from here on your cell phone, as you can see, you can hit remote play on this device. If you have a game or if you have a, you know, a, a game installed on the console that's digital, or if you have a game disc in the console, you can actually play the game on the console. This is what we're doing right now with Jedi, uh, the mastermind, whatever the crap you call it. I can't remember. So here's the game right here. And then when I hit remote play on this device, it will pop up. We'll flip this on sideways so you can see it. At this point, you would connect a controller to your phone. Now, anything that's Bluetooth can be connected and will work with this. I would personally use like the 8-Bit Do Ultimate Bluetooth. If you have it, it'd be a great controller for a phone and stuff like that. If not, just your Xbox controller in general, just take it with you or have it set up to your phone and then you can be able to do that too. Once you get that done, you will be set and then you can literally play the game and it's pretty much in sync. I mean, you know, I'm on Bluetooth or excuse me, I'm on Wi-Fi right now. So what I'm gonna do just to show you guys, I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off. And it's gonna try to reconnect. And now as you can see, it is reconnected. As long as you have a decent connection, you should be good to uh, play. So now I had connected the Bluetooth Ultimate controller to the uh, cell phone just for demonstration purposes. The cool thing about this is, this is the controller for the Xbox and it's the controller for the phone. I'll put this over here, out of sight. I can actually control my Xbox from here. So me pressing the button and go home, I can literally scroll through my settings. As you can see here, you know, I can go to, you know, I can pretty much do anything I would be able to do on my Xbox, but from here, I can go to my settings if I want to, I, I can do I can do all of it. So that's pretty cool with this app. This makes it cool, especially for your parents out there. If you have an Xbox and you want to give your child, bring a child controller, this will also work on like tablets and stuff like that too. So if you want a little bit of a bigger screen, as long as you can download the Xbox app, it should be able to connect to your Xbox and you will be good to go. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. 